Well, hey, all you are tappers out there, I've got a fun little story for you today. I'll have to refer to my notes here a little bit. I just stumbled across it. I just thought it was interesting. Uh, one of my motorcycle riding friends from Chicago, uh, uh, Alex, sent this to me. He sends me something every once in a while. And a lot of these stories are like they're too long to I have to do a lot of research. So I have to think about what I'm going to do. But this is it's kind of a short one. Just in, interesting little story, I thought, was a guy named Ray Ryan businessman, an oil man, a developer, and, and a notorious gambler. Um, he discovered the largest oil field in West Texas, and he developed a lot of Palm Springs, California. So he's pretty well known out, out on the West Coast there. And, and he owned hotels and resorts all over the world. It was huge, hugely well, wealthy, uh, particularly in Europe. He had a lot of movie stars that were his friends, you know, because of uh, Palm Springs, he probably played golf, uh, Bob Hope and uh, Bring Cosby, Clark Gable, William Holden, kind of all the macho guys who probably like to golf and gamble too. Uh, so, uh, so in 1963, and maybe this is when he became the most famous gambler of all, he did a head-to-head -head match at the Flamingo in Las Vegas with Nick the Greek. Dan Lo oh boy, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Nick the Greek, anyhow, he, he was a famous gambler in the 50s and 60s in Las Vegas. I think he's the guy that ended up doing the, uh, uh, sat in the line, used to be on TV, it seemed like back in the, maybe the 70s, uh, maybe the 60s, I can't remember, but uh, he won several hundred thousand dollars in that particular match. Now, um, he got to know a mobster, our West Coast buddy from the outfit, Marshall Caifano, uh, Red Wilmette's friend. Uh, Red Wilmette knows him. And because and, uh, he was in that little clique, Red was with Joey Lombardo and uh, uh, Frank Suisse. And, and, and so he got to know this guy. Uh, he may, maybe even he remembers this. But Marshall Caifano had an idea. Now, this is a typical outfit guy's idea. He, he said, he told this guy, Ray Ryan, that he had evidence of his cheating during this uh, big time poker match with Nick the Greek, and he would expose him unless Ray Ryan would pay him a lot of money, uh, like a lot of money. Uh, Ryan said, you know, I, I've been around too long. You know, I, I'm not playing this. Homie, don't play that. And he went to the FBI with it and ended up convicting, helping convict Guy Fano of extortion. He spent, I don't know, like 10, 11 years in the penitentiary for that. After Guy Fano's back out, Guy Fano's back out later on, Ryan is nervous. So he goes to Guy Fano. He's got so much money now that he offers him a million dollars just to forget that it ever testified against him. And, and purportedly, Guy Fano goes to his... Uh, his good friend and enforcer and the guy on the streets that'll get this job done. Maybe Caifano was the kind of guy, you know, like he set up um, uh, Richard Kane. He was there with Richard Kane. He kind of set him up, but he wasn't the guy that pulled the trigger. He was not, I don't believe he was a trigger pulling guy. Joe Lombardo, Frank Suisse, they're trigger pulling kind of guys. Uh, Harry Ailman, they, they're trigger pulling kind of guys. Uh, anyhow, he he talks to Lombardo about it, and Lombardo says, "Heck, let's just just take the money, and then let's kill him anyway." <laughs> I guess it'll be unknown, forever unknown. I couldn't find it if if he took the money, and but he did kill him anyway. Somebody killed him. Somebody killed him. He was killed with an automobile bomb in Evansville, Indiana in 1977, and it was always unsolved. But you know, you know, Kai Fano had something to do with it and Lombardo. So that's just kind of an interesting little side story to the outfit and how it works. You know, when it says pay or die, there's a book out there, pay or die. When the outfit says pay or die, you know, even if you pay, you die sometimes. <laughs> If you cause a guy to spend 11 years in the penitentiary, why, I don't know if a million dollars would buy you out of that one. Uh, you know, I'd probably let it go, but, you know, I'm not one of those guys. Thanks a lot, folks. And don't forget to hit me up on Venmo at Jinx Law or buy me a cup of coffee and uh, go to my website. I've got books and movies and you can donate. And if you happen to have a problem with PTSD, 
go to the VA, just Google PTSD and VA, and there's a hotline. And if you're not a veteran, uh, just look at their website and you'll, you'll find other information. Uh, look out for motorcycles and thanks a lot for tuning in. Oh, don't forget on my YouTube channel, tell people about it and subscribe down below. And, you know, let's keep building this thing. I appreciate it. It's building like crazy now. And that's why I'm doing a lot of these, these here to try to get it built up. And, you know, I'll probably get somebody, then I hire a little more help to do some of this editing and everything. Right now, I got to do it all myself. Thanks, folks.